Christie's Paris is honoured to have been entrusted with the sale of six magnificent works from the estate of Jacques Dupin. The five works, including two by Alberto Giacometti and three by Juan Miro, will be offered in our sale of Impressionists and Modern Art in Paris on the 28th of May. Jacques Dupin was a key figure in Parisian artistic circles during the second half of the 20th century. Recognised as an important poet in his own right, whose work was championed from an early age by René Char. In 1955, he became director of the Magde Gallery, where he worked for the next 20 years, becoming director eventually of the Magde Le Long Gallery, which was at the time probably the most important commercial gallery in the world. Jacques Dupin met Alberto Giacometti in 1953, and the two immediately embarked on a profound and long lasting creative partnership. Ernst Schrödinger filmed the two together in 1965 in the artist studio and we can see Alberto Giacometti painting as Dupin sits and the two of them exchanging views on painting, life and art in general. Technoir Oil on Canvas painted in 1958 is a wonderful expression of the artist's approach to how to visually portray an object in space, in this case a bust and head. As a viewer, when we run our eye over the painted surface, we have difficulty both in discerning the figure itself, but also are drawn into the surface of the painting thanks to the artist's use of brush strokes which work and rework the surface. Femme de Boue Bronze from 1954 forms part of the artist's celebrated series of men walking, women standing. Executed in this instance with a wonderfully vibrant green patina, again our eye is drawn straight to the surface of the work just as it is with Tête Noir. In this instance um, the bronze exhibits a wonderfully varied and rough surface which Giacometti used as his characteristic portrayal of the figure in space when he was working in sculpture. <music> After Dupin met Giacometti, he then met Joan Miro, another artist with whom he was to form a profound and long-lasting relationship. The three works by Miro which come to us from the Dupin estate each illustrate Dupin's interest in the mature work of the artist. They all share a huge scale. They're all executed between 1970 and 1975. And for each one, he selected a specific found material to use as the support. Two of them are executed on large sheets of paper which have a fascinating surface to them. Um, Miro relished this haphazardness which was given by the creasing and roughness of this paper. The third one is executed on a sheet of pre-printed plastic which was used as a wrapper for something in his studio probably which he then took, cut up, flattened and then applied this wonderful energy of paint and symbolism which characterises his late work. All five of these works will be included in our sale on the 28th of May, viewing for which starts in Paris on Saturday the 25th, Sunday the 26th and ends on Monday the 27th of May. Thank you.